Welcome back to another video guys. As always, it's your boy Wraith Hoops and today we've got a more somber topic to talk about in the sense that it is about Ricky Rubio, as the title suggests. Now, Ricky Rubio is one of the final point guards in today's game that fits more of the mold of the Chris Paul, the pure point guard type of player where he's not necessarily a scorer first. He's a floor general. He gets on the court. He makes the correct passes. He reads plays properly. He's effective in the pick and roll and he has high assist numbers, low turnover numbers. He's played for four different teams over the course of his career. Throughout it all, he has been known to be a very effective floor general and a very effective point guard just to have tendered on your roster. He's not going to shoot a lot of shots. He's not incredibly efficient on his career. He only shot roughly 39% from the floor and 32.5% from the three-point line. So he was never a particularly terrific shooter of the basketball, but he always shot well from the free throw line. So people kind of overlooked it, and never really paid much mind to it. Also, he did just enough for defenses to honor it so that he could make the plays that he wanted to make. And he was, to his credit, a pass first point guard, which benefited him greatly in that regard. Now, more recently, obviously, he's most known for playing for the Minnesota Timberwolves, where he spent the first half of his entire career there before going to Utah for two seasons, then to Phoenix, then back to Minnesota for a season, and then getting sent over to Cleveland, where he has been the past two years. This upcoming season was supposed to be his third year with them. However, he recently came out and announced that he would be needing to take time away from the game of basketball entirely, citing mental health reasons as being the reason why. Now, this came as news just before the FIBA World Cup kicked off. Obviously, by the time you guys see this video, it will be much past the 25th of August, but that was the start date for the FIBA World Cup, which is the basketball tourney this year. He is originally hailing from Spain and Spain actually won the gold and he was the MVP of that team the last time around. Now we are at a point where even without them, uh, as a matter of fact, today at the point at which I'm recording this, they actually beat Brazil 96 to 78 with the Hernan Gomez brothers, uh, Juancho and Willie. If you know about international basketball, you understand that Spain has been one of the closest rivals to the US in recent history. It is expected that they beat a team like Brazil pretty handedly. So they're not necessarily feeling the loss of him just yet, but it will come particularly when the day comes that they do end up facing the US because the US went from being a joke of a team to being a team that was very well constructed, well coached. And Anthony Edwards is emerging as the leader on that team, which most people did not anticipate occurring. However, this video is meant to appreciate the greatness of Ricky Rubio because despite never really averaging more than 13 and a half points at any point in his career. He was always respected as a starting point guard because to his credit, he always averaged around eight, nine assists a season. Now, eventually as time went on and he got later on into his career and he injury started to pile up and he just played less and he got staggered minutes. There were other teams and other players that affected the way that he would traditionally play the game of basketball so his assist numbers did decrease more recently and then when he went to cleveland of course they decreased even more because he played more of a reserve role now when he came back from injury last season he did end up in total playing 33 games for the season and started in two of them and in 17 minutes he did average five points two rebounds and three and a half assists shooting 34 percent from the floor so by no stretch of the imagination are those numbers great, but his impact at this point is simply being a strong veteran presence that's allowed and capable of guiding the younger players and holding people accountable in the locker room, in practice, and even in games and coaching them up on the sidelines while still being able to play effectively on the floor. It's not as though he's a Udonis Haslam where seeing him actually play is a shooting star streaking across the sky he does play in games pretty consistently when he's healthy it's just that he's not the same player that he was and at the age of 32 about to turn 33 later on this nba season it's understood that his time is slowly ticking away 
but it does beg the question what it was about his mental health that particularly made him need to step away from the game entirely, especially when he was about to represent Spain. And he did feel very badly about it and he was apologetic about it. But even the Spain's manager expressed that the most important thing in a time like this is his ability to mentally handle the demons that he's battling himself. And so in light of that, we must respect his wishes and not poke too much into his business, though we would love to speculate. I believe that the most important things to somebody when you're playing the game of basketball is your family and your mental headspace, because if you don't have either of those, you're not going to play well in a game. No matter how much money you have, no matter how big your contract is, no matter how much your teammates pass the ball to you or how many times the coach runs a play directly for you simply being able to effectively get the job done on your own is only possible when the other two needs are fulfilled we do hope that ricky rubio does come back for at the very least to finish out this third year of his contract with the cleveland cavaliers because this was while a very weirdly constructed roster in a sense they were fun and a fun basketball team to watch and him just being able to be a part of that i feel like that would rejuvenate him just a little bit even though he has dealt with injuries over his the course of his tenure there. In due time, I do believe that we will come across in the next couple seasons guaranteed that he will shoot his last shot. And while he might not do go for the, you know, farewell tour, he'll definitely be saying his goodbyes and everybody will appreciate him because by no stretch of the imagination was Ricky Rubio ever a villain in the league. And while he might not be the most beloved player, he's one of those guys that everybody just respects as being a genuinely nice guy that just loves to be on the court. With that being said, good morning, good evening, good night, no matter where you are on the globe watching. Thanks for tuning in. Go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and comment your thoughts about Ricky Rubio's career, whether you think that he could potentially be a hall of fame point guard or how far out do you think he is if there is any shot at all of him being in there go ahead and subscribe turn on those post notifications and join the patreon if you're feeling up to it and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace